<sighs> Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Well, it's nothing, really. Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. I'd tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. It was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Sure is. But you know what they say, every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Huh, look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. Huh? What's wrong? You fell quiet out of nowhere. I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. I better be more careful about this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. What? I can't believe you'd say that so fast! Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. I'm back! Huh? What happened? Oh, Yuma. I'm done for. Seriously, what happened? Well... Yasuhiko and Halara got into a fight while gambling. You know how stubborn those two are. I tried to calm them down, but things got out of hand. I didn't know what to do. But then, Fubuki showed up. And she started shouting for them to quit fighting. She jumped right in. And things just descended into chaos. I think I get the picture. In the end, those two made up just so they wouldn't have to deal with the situation. They all never listen to a thing I say. I'm not sure I can lead these monsters. Maybe I'm not cut out to be boss here. That's not true. You're doing great, Chief. <laughs> Me? Great? What have I done that's great? W what well uh, 
Anyway, you're great. What? What do you mean? I don't have the right words, but I think you're great in your own way, Chief. <laughs> Sounds a bit forced. Still, thanks. All I needed was a good laugh to feel better about everything. Well then, I'll continue being the boss for now. Looks like he finally cheered up. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I want to ask you. What's up? It's about my memories. At this rate, I worry I won't remember anything. So I was hoping we could make, like, a mission plan, or at least a list of things I could try, to jog my memory. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but handling stuff like that is way out of my league. Huh? Never mind that. Feeling down got me hungry. Hey, did you buy a meat bun for me? I hope you didn't forget the mustard. I know he's not a bad person, but still... Maybe he really isn't fit to be in charge. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Hey, Yuma, can I ask you for a favor? Huh? What is it? Um, how do I put this? Uh... Why the hesitancy? That's not like you, Chief. Right. We're pals, after all. Yeah. Then I'll say it. Well, I... Will you lend me some money? No. Huh? Why? You said we're pals! I did, but I don't have any money. You can't draw blood from a stone. Tch, I heard kids these days have lots in savings. Why do you even need any money? You should have more than I do. Well, I've been drinking more recently, so my living expenses have been stretched thin. Isn't that your own fault, then? Sheesh. My employees are so heartless. I wish some super profitable job would fall into my lap. If only I had a master detective's abilities, I could easily make some cash. Yeah. I feel the same way. A master detective can make a ton of money if they use their powers for profit. Right? I wonder why these guys just work as detectives. I don't understand it one bit. Speaking of, you've met a bunch of master detectives, haven't you, Chief? Hmm? Yeah, I sure have. Have you seen any particularly amazing abilities? I'm curious about what other kinds of master detectives are out there. Hmm, amazing abilities, huh? Well, to me, they were all amazing, since I don't have any myself. But among them all, the one that really freaked me out was the ability to hear the culprit's inner voice. Huh? Wouldn't that make them unstoppable as a detective? Yeah, it's considered the all-time ace of the WDO sleeve. Seeing it with my own eyes sure made me feel depressed. Can I really call myself a detective when there's a monster like that doing this job? You're right. It makes me feel unsure myself. In fact, it brings me down whenever I compare myself to everyone here. There's no point in developing an inferiority complex just because you don't have any abilities. People just gotta play with the cards they're dealt. Even if you're dealt a terrible hand, sometimes, just sometimes, you can manifest the power of the Joker card. But having no forte is like not even being dealt a hand. 
That's not true. There's stuff you can do because you don't have one. Is that really true? Yeah. Trust my many years of experience. I'm sure of it. Well, do you have an example? Hmm. I think it's better you figure it out for yourself. Yeah? What do you think? Think about it. What can you do without any abilities? I know how regular people feel. Yeah, that's it. Although, if you had the ability to read minds, you could understand people's feelings and use it for information. But you'd never be able to join them among the have-nots. To be the same as the vast majority of people is a powerful tool for a detective. That's why there's no need to feel down, even if you don't have any special powers. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Chief. Sometimes, you say some really profound things. Sometimes? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. I guess you could say that. Chief, what made you want to become a detective? Huh? That came out of nowhere. I'd understand it if you had special powers like everyone else. But you're not like them. So I want to know what made you decide to be a detective. <laughs> I see. Well, you could say something encouraged me. But it's not very interesting. As a kid, I was basically Watson. Like a detective's assistant? Back in high school, I worked as a part-timer at a small detective agency. But obviously, I never got to do any exciting stuff like investigate murders. All I did was find lost pets and cheating spouses. So exactly what the Nocturnal Detective Agency was doing before we showed up. Yeah, that's right. But one time, I was involved in the real deal. I took part in an investigation of a murder case. Though, I was a kid at the time, so I couldn't do much. The detective there was just some slovenly old guy, but he solved that case like Holmes would have. I sure looked up to him after that. So that's why he strove to become a detective. If I didn't have an admiration for detectives, or if I had never taken that part-time job at the agency, I wouldn't have become one. Chief looks kind of sad. Do you regret it? You mean, regret being a detective? Yeah, you looked real sad all of a sudden. Well, I had to deal with a bunch of troublesome stuff after I became a detective. There have been times I wished I'd never taken this path. But there's also happiness I never would have experienced had I not become one. A lot of people I never would have met, too. Like you guys, for example. Chief. I know. Let's go out and eat sometime. You know, talking about the past sure made me want to drink. You should join me. Does that mean you're buying? You better hurry up and get ready before I leave you behind. But why did you ignore my question? Well... After losing my memories, I'm glad it was everyone here I ended up meeting. Wait, the chief said he doesn't regret being a detective, but why did he look so sad? 
Maybe I misinterpreted it. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Jeez. Things have been getting troubling lately. Yuma, you got anything to share that could cheer me up? Huh? I don't know what to say when I'm put on the spot like that. How are things going with you and Kurumi? I want you to pull on my heartstrings with stories of young love. There's nothing like that between us. It's not like I like her or anything. Uh-huh. You're just not being honest with yourself. What about you, Chief? From the looks of things, you appear to be single. I thought you said you used to be pretty popular. Sure was! Back in my prime, I went way beyond three and four timing. Everybody was head over heels for me. You sure about that? Nah, I seriously doubt it. They'd all be fighting for my attention whenever I got a minute of free time. Oh, and they'd get so jealous if they found out they weren't my one and only. It was adorable. They were like cute little kittens, the way they'd come up to me wanting a drink. Huh? Wanting a drink? Wait a minute. Are you talking about pets? Eh? Pets? Like dogs and cats? Well, I did say they were like kittens. <sighs> He's got me there. I'm sure the chief is actually talking about... You're referring to a hostess club. The women all worked there, didn't they? What? No! You admitted they were all asking you for drinks. <laughs> Crap! Chief, you don't need to put on airs like that. You're not a kid anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry. The truth is, I wasn't popular at all. Why would you lie about that? Well, Yuma... Just remember one thing. Huh? What? I'm speaking here as a man with much more life experience, not as your chief. If you fall in love with a woman, you have to protect her, no matter what. That, and that alone, is why men are made to be men. Huh? Uh, sure. What's up with Buzzhead? Looks so serious. I'll keep that in mind, but what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Well... I stopped visiting the girl I liked for a while. When I was broke, then I found out she quit and went back home. People only realize how important something is um, after they've lost it. I don't quite understand. <laughs> I can't tell if he's being serious or not. He laughed it off at the end, but I could tell that story was important to him. I'll keep what he said in mind. <laughs> Master, you and Yako have forged the ultimate bond together! Good for you, Master! I'm happy for you!